Well, if you've never solved a crossword before, my advice is start with a Monday. Uh, in the New York Times, Monday is the easiest puzzle of the week, and it builds up to very hard on Friday and Saturday. If you start on a Friday or Saturday, you're likely to be smashed and come away frustrated. But start on a Monday, fill in what you know, look through the clues, find something that you are positive of, and then build out from there. And especially use the, the more unusual letters of the alphabet to help you. You know, a, a, a K or an F or a Z is gonna be more useful to you in a crossing answer than an A or an E. Wherever you are, build out from what you know. Uh, if you get stuck, don't be afraid to guess. And, uh, but also don't be afraid to erase if your guess isn't working out. If you really get stuck, uh, put the puzzle aside, come back later. It is amazing how often that trick works. I don't know why it works, but uh, you'll get one new answer in the grid and you'll be off and running again. Fill in the blank clues are often the best ones to start with because they're easy to spot in a list of clues and they often have unique answers. So if the clue was one blank customer, you know the phrase is one to a customer, and with three letters, you know, boom, fill it in, T, O, and A. If you've been solving crosswords for a while, you know crosswordies, and crosswordies are those short, vowel-heavy answers that show up in crosswords way more often than they do in everyday life. You know, let's take Brian Eno, for example. The, uh, he was one of the founding members of Roxy Music, but uh, he's uh, an important person in ambient music. And, uh, you know, if you see musician Brian, you know, it's going to be Eno, you know, fill that in and we'll work out from there.